All right, guys. Happy Strong Friday. Hope everyone is having a fabulous week so far. I am just going to get my camera all situated here. Let's get it. Let's get it. That looks pretty good. All right. Perfect here. Excellent. All right, guys. So amazing, amazing week so far. I know I posted this in the group yesterday, but just wanted to say again how proud I am of everyone. Like we had just you guys are all rock stars already, but this week in particular, just saw everyone like completing their workouts, lots of messages, um, all staying positive, just like working through solutions, crushing it. Like I am just so thrilled. Definitely have some new boss babes. And of course my boss bros, you guys rock as well to the crew. So welcome to anyone who's new. If this is your first Zoom workout, whether you're on the live or you're in the recording later in the Facebook group, excellent, you're going to love it. So just a little bit of a preview here. What we're going to do is we start with about a four to five minute warm up, getting our bodies going, getting our bodies warm. We are going to do four different circuits and everything is going to be body weight. So you'll just need body weight as well as your mat. You can do it right from home. You can do it at the gym, wherever you'd like. We're going to do four different body weight circuits. Each of those circuits will have four exercises performed for 30 seconds each, all back to back. We'll take a 30 second rest in between rounds. For the first two circuits, we'll complete three rounds through, and the second two rounds, second two circuits, just two rounds for a total of 10 in all, because you guys are 10 out of 10. Now, in terms of the movement selection, I will show both the advanced version as well as a couple modifications. The modifications if you have any wrist injuries as well if you can't do any sort of jumping stuff so if you need to modify definitely choose that option um, no shame in that stay safe stay healthy and let's get into it and then at the end here we're going to get into some of your jot forms so your weekly check-in so at the end i'm going to grab my ipod ipad pull up some of your forms and then we'll get into some questions so enough of that let's get right into it with our warm-up so let's go, let's go. Let's spread it on out here. First things first, we're gonna start with some leg swings up and across, nice and gentle, just opening up the hip here. Keeping that tall chest, opposite hand, opposite foot. And then let's switch it out to the other side, up and across. Taking our time, nice and smooth. Exactly, we got last one here. Next, you're going to tap your heel, reach down with your opposite hand and pull your toe towards your shin, sending your hips back. Now our goal here is to stretch out the hamstring as well as the calf. We'll get one last stretch here. Next one is for the lower back. We're gonna crisscross one leg in front of the other and reach down towards your back toe. Hang out here at the bottom for about five, 10 seconds and you'll feel that pulling all the way down the side. Stand it up, uncross, crisscross the other side, and reach towards that back foot. Stretching out that lower back, stand relaxed at the bottom here. And we'll stand it on up and let's get into these hips coming up. We have some alternating knee hugs, pulling that knee in nice and close. There we go, let's get one more here. And then switch it on out for a knee cradle. Grab the outside of the shin, and pull the leg horizontal with the floor. Now we're getting into the sides of our hips, sides of our glutes. Let's get one more here. Perfect, and then we have our quad stretch. One arm up, grab your foot and pull your heel to your butt, keeping your knees close together. And switch. Knees are closed, hips stay tucked. And we got one more on each side. Very nice, last one here. Now let's bring those legs wide to the side, arms to the side, reach down and touch the opposite toe, sending your hips down and back. Make sure you bend that leg that you're reaching towards here. Last one. Come on down to your mat with me here. Up in a high plank, you're gonna step one foot through, keep the back leg locked out, step it back and switch. Back leg stays straight, press the back hip towards the floor. Same thing now, this time lifting the hand closest to the leg, 
twist, exhale, hold for a second here. Great stretch for the spine. Replace the hand, step it back and switch. Twist towards that front leg, reach the arm up. Replace the hand, step it back and inchworm your way back up to the top. Last one for the lower body. Big reverse lunge, step it back. Tall chest, reach the arms up to the sky and switch. Big step back, back knee down, exhale, reach it up. Excellent there, now getting into our upper body. AC is going down because we're about to crank it up. We're gonna get into the neck to start. Fingertips pulling down towards the floor, palms facing forward. Gently tilt your neck side to side, pulling your ear towards your shoulder. Keep pulling the fingertips down. And we got last one here. We got Coach Joe in the back. Next one, we're gonna look to the right and look to the left. He's got his little cone on. Coach Joe, say hello, it's Coach Joe. <laughs> He'll be running around, look to the right, look to the left. And then last one here, chin down and head back. Perfect there, let's get into these shoulders coming up next. Arm circles reaching up and back. Keep your elbows straight and take your time. Reaching up and back, shoulders square with the front of the room. Last one backwards and we got two circles going forward. Full circle, last one and switch it out to the other side. Up and back, keeping that shoulder square. Perfect there, reverse direction, two going forward. Last one. All right, next we got arms up by the ears, thumbs up, some small fast circles going backwards. And then start to make those circles out to the side. And then all the way down by our sides, reverse directions back up to the top. Small fast circles all the way up. Beautiful. Two more for the warm up, and we are ready to rock. Next one, we got arms to the side. Flip your whole shoulder forward, palm down, palm up, and reach those fingertips away. You're gonna switch, flip the whole shoulder, pull those fingertips apart. And we got one more on each. Flip the whole arm, pull those arms away from each other. And then one last rep, reaching those arms away. Last but not least, my favorite here to start the morning, some side bends. Elbows at 90 degrees, flip one arm down. Exhale, reach across the body, side bend. Blow out all the air. Stand it up, switch the arms, exhale, reach. This one you're gonna feel all the way down, even pulling through the lower back a bit. We got one more on each, exhale, side bend. And we got last one here, final one. And we are going to crush this strong start to the weekend. So guys, just watch me first. I'm going to show you all four exercises and then you can choose which variation you're going to do. So our first round, we are starting with a prisoner squat into an oblique crunch. So our hands are gonna be behind our head, nice tall chest. Squat and then exhale, slight side bend. Think more about bringing that knee up towards the elbow. Everyone will do the same one there. Exercise number two, we have a little bit of some uh, dynamic movement here. Side to side, shuffle with some fast feet. So fast feet, keep the hips back, keep the feet wide. The only variation there is you're just gonna go a little bit slower, a little step rather than those super fast feet. Exercise three for the core, down on your mat, down on your elbows here. Option number one, you're going to be down in the low plank, front to back rock. You're going to press the toes forward and then push the heels back, almost stretching out the calves. If we have any toe stuff going on, you're gonna drop down to the knees, tuck the toes and keep the hips forward, just like that. So we have a couple specific injuries and I know your guys' injuries. So for certain things, you're like toe stuff, we got someone with a hurt toe. So if you gotta tuck your toes, just do that. And then our last one, we have a sprawler. So a sprawler, option one, we're going from a high plank, jump into the bottom of a squat, jump it back, core is tight, low impact option, step it through, 
lift the chest, hands down, step it back. Give me a big flex. We are starting in 20 seconds with that prisoner squat to oblique crunch. I'll give you guys some time to set up your mat, grab one last sip of water, and it's game time. Let's freaking go. All right, guys, first set, we got 30 seconds, starting with the prisoner squat to oblique crunch. Three, two, one, here you go. Tall chest, hips back, exhale, and a little bit of a side bend. Don't worry if you can't get that knee all the way up. Just bring it as high as you can, sitting those hips back, keeping that tall chest. Now our first round, we go a little bit slower. We're still warming up. And each and every round, we're gonna pick up that intensity. In three, two, one, onto that side to side shuffle. Keep the hips back, fast feet. You should feel this through the back of the glutes. And also getting that heart rate going. Side to side, keep it athletic. Careful with the ankles. We got 10 seconds until we're down to that low plank front to back walk. Keep it moving, keep it moving fast with those feet. Three, two, one. Low plank, front to back rock, or low plank hold down on the knees. Keep that butt squeezed, hips are tucked, and nice gentle front to back rock. Push into the top of those toes and push in the heels back. Nice work here. Keep those hips down, almost there. We got less than 10, and you got sprawlers, final 30. Almost, three, two, one, right into that high plank. Jump it through or step it through. Most important thing on this one here, soft landings as you jump back and keeping that core tight to protect the spine. Nice and slow on this first set, and each and every round, we're gonna get a little bit faster. Let's get two more reps. Pick up that chest, very nice. Last one, and time. All right, guys, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, already feeling this one here. Whew. Couple deep breaths. We got 15 more seconds to rest. Now we're definitely warm, so round two, just a little bit faster, still keeping quality form. Get ready, we're starting in five seconds. Here we go, prisoner squat, oblique crunch, three, two, one, let's go. Tall chest, exhale, drive that knee up, and just a very slight side bend. I like to think more about bringing the knee up and meeting that elbow, just so you can keep that balance a little bit better. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We got five seconds until we're onto those fast feet. Lateral shuffle, three, two, one. Hips back, athletic stance, side to side. Remember, you can do a little step if you need to. Whatever option you don't, there goes Coach Joe. He wants to sprint, so let's go, Joe. Kitty sprints. We got 15 seconds to go. Keep the feet wide, keep pushing the hips back. Don't trip over your animals. You got 10 seconds to go. Almost there, we're down in that low plank. Three, two, one, here you go. Low plank, front to back walk, rock. Press the toes forward, push the heels back. Keep those hips low, butt is squeezed. Perfect. Take your time and keep that belly button pulled in towards the spine. You've got just 10 more seconds and we're gonna get a little bit faster on this sprawler. Jump in or step into that squat, almost. And here we go, 30 second sprawler, high plank, lift the chest, jump it back. So you can see I'm moving a little faster. The second my feet touch, I try to jump it right back up to the top, picking that chest up, tall chest in the squat. We got 10 seconds. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Almost there. We got one last rep and time. All right, feeling good. 
Coach Joe is sprinting over there. He'll be back. Grab some water. We have one more round. And we got upper body coming your way. <laughs> All right, guys. 10 seconds. Last set for this round. Last set. Best set. Get it ready. Here he comes. Here we go. Last set. Squat, oblique crunch, trying to drop it right down into that squat. Fight for that tall chest. Keep those elbows wide to the side. Yes. We got 10 seconds to go. You're doing great already. Keep it up, keep it up. Let's get one more rep on each. Last one, right into that lateral shuffle. Here you go, hips back. Fast with the feet, side to side. Nice work here. Keep pushing those hips back. A little faster for the last set. Good push, good push. Perfect here. 10 seconds. Almost. We got five, four, three, two. Low plank, little hardcore. Drop it down to those elbows, run to that rock. Killer, come here. Come on, Coach Joe, help me on my floor. What am I doing? Are my hips too high? No, we're looking good. Almost there. Halfway through on this low plank. Nice job, nice job. Almost. We got five seconds, four, three, two, right to those sprawlers. Come on, Joe. Let's go. Jump it up, pick up the chest, back, right up. Whether you're jumping or stepping, keep that core tight and pick up that chest at the top of that squat. You got 15 seconds to go. Nice work, nice work. Come on, you're gonna get a rest after this. Let's get two more reps. Almost there. Last one and time. Great job on set number one. We got upper body coming up. <laughs> All right, guys. Definitely grab some water. Our next circuit, less cardio, more flexing. So just watching me first as you recover, I'm gonna show you all four options. So we're gonna come down to our mat. Our first one, we're going to start with a push-up into an alternating shoulder tap. We have a couple different options here. The most advanced option, your feet are gonna be just outside your mat, nice and wide. One push up, Joe, one push up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Option two, push up from the knees, push up, then you can lift the knees, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. And finally, option three, option three, we got push up from the knees, Shoulder tap from the knees, just like that. Exercise number two, we're gonna stand it up. Now we're working on the posture. We have a bent over Y raise. So shoulders tight, hold at the hips, thumbs up, just like you're doing the YMCA. Smooth, thumbs lift up to the sky, back down, proud chest. And that target is really the back of those shoulders. Exercise number three, we are going into, we have two options here. One is really advanced, so don't worry about this one, but I'm gonna show you anyways. We have a Superman rock. We're gonna be here, hands in front. You're gonna try to squeeze your butt, let your heels come up and rock up and down. If you've never done that before or anything similar, instead you're gonna come flat on your stomach, Superman arch up, lift the chest, and back down. Our final exercise, we are going into an alternating high plank with a swimmer. So two options here as well. The more advanced option, we're gonna have our feet extra wide outside the mat. Reach one arm to the ear, arm behind the back, forward, down. This one is for the core as well as shoulder mobility. So that's option one. If we have any wrist stuff going on or you feel like you're gonna fall on your face, don't. Instead, you're gonna do the same thing. 
but bent over here, bent over swimmers. All right, Coach Joe, I think we're ready to rock. How about you? I'm gonna bring my stopwatch down to the floor and we're starting in 15 seconds. Let's go. All right, Joe, push up to shoulder tap. We're gonna have to relocate for a second there. Let's get it ready, starting in five seconds. I'm gonna do my push-ups from the knees, shoulder taps from the feet. Three, two, one, here we go. Push up, lift the knees, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Hips stay forward the whole time here. And your feet should be about the distance of your mat. Our goal being on that shoulder tap, keep the hips as level as you can. In 10 seconds, we're gonna stand it up to that bent over Y raise. Let's get one last rep here. Stand it up, thumbs up, nice and smooth. This one is for our posture. Really great one if we're sitting at our desks all day, opening up that upper back, keeping our backs nice and healthy. Keep that tall chest, thumbs as high as you can. Nice long neck with those shoulders. Perfect here in 10 seconds, you have either that Superman arch up, most of you guys are gonna do that, or that Superman rock. Last one, drop it down. I'm gonna rock it out. Pressing into a seal, core is tight. Lifting the chest and bringing those heels up off the floor. Keep that core tight if you're doing the rocking option. Otherwise, arms and legs lifting at the same time. And in 10 seconds, we're gonna get into that single arm swimmer or bent over swimmers. Three, two, one, press it up. Single arm swimmer, reach behind, forward, back down. Press that supporting hand through the floor and take your time on the swimmer portion. We got just 15 seconds to go, almost there. Keep it smooth, keep it moving. The last couple reps in five, four, three, two, and time. Woo! Feeling that. AC is going down. Still summertime down in Miami. Alrighty, 30 second rest. Joe wants to play with all of his toys all at once. He's very active too. Coach Joe is not a fat cat. He is very athletic. So he's in kitty training camp. We have five seconds. Push up to shoulder tap. Let's go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hips forward. Push up. Shoulder tap. Shoulder tap. Knees right back down. Elbows should be down and back 45 degrees. And really keep those hips forward the whole time. You guys are crushing it. We're almost halfway through. All downhill from here. Good, fight to keep those hips level. You got it, last rep. Yes, stand it up, bent over, Y raise. Thumbs up, smooth. Keep that nice long neck and take your time on these here. I don't care how many we get, all about quality reps. Thumbs up to the sky and lift them that one inch higher. That extra inch at the top is gonna make all the difference. We got 10 seconds until we're on to our supermans or superwomans. Last rep, drop it down. Superman arch up or rocking it out with me with those hands slightly in front. Here we go, lift that chest off the ground. Squeeze your butt, lift those heels to the sky. We got 15 seconds to go. Nice work here, final 10, final 10. And then we're into those swimmers. Go work, go work. We got three, two, one. All right, up off the ground. High plank or stand it up, bend it over. Swimmers, take your time. Arm up to the ear, rotate the palm back, rotate forward, back down. We've got 15 more seconds. Come on, come on. Great work here. Last 10. Almost. We got five, four, three, two, and time. 
All right, guys, this one is no joke today. So I give me a flex, because that was officially halfway through. We got five rounds to go, and it's just gonna fly by from here on out. We got 15 seconds, last set for upper, and we're back to a little bit of lower. All right, guys, final set. Push up to shoulder tap, three, two, one, let's go. Push up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, right back down. Yes, just like that. Keep on pressing through. We got 15 more seconds to go. Almost there. There we go. Final 10, let's get at least two more reps for each. You got it, nice job. Almost, we got three, two, one. Stand it up, bent over, Y raise here. Thumbs up, smooth. Thumbs up to the ceiling, you've got it. Nice work. Keep that long neck, make sure those shoulders aren't shrugging up. Beautiful, 10 seconds to go. You guys are doing great, just crushing it. Almost, almost, we got three, two, one. Drop it down, Superman. Rock it out or arch it up. There we go, keep it moving. Nice job, squeezing those shoulder blades, lifting that chest or driving those heels up to the ceiling. We got 10 more seconds and we gotta push through for these final 30 with those swimmers. Three, two, one, right up. Here we go. Reach the arm back, forward, back down. Nice work here. Take your time keeping those hips level. We got 15 more seconds to go. Push that supporting hand through the floor. Last 10, last 10, fight for it. So close. We have five, four, three, two, and time. Hell yeah. All righty then. So guys, we got just four rounds left. We have a little bit of lower and back to some upper, but just two rounds for each. This one here is gonna get a little bit more higher intensity, so expect to be a little bit out of breath. There's your fair warning. So our first one, exercise one, we're gonna have a couple different options. Option number one, we're going to do a reverse lunge into a curtsy lunge. Our first set, we're gonna stay all on the same leg. Our second set, we'll do the other side. So I'm here, hands on the hips. Reverse lunge, step it back. Curtsy lunge, 45 degrees back. If we have any sort of knee stuff going on, instead, you're going to have one foot in front of the other and just do a really small split squat. And if we have any toe stuff going on, instead, you're gonna do a low squat pulse. So three options, but the primary one is reverse lunge to curtsy lunge. Exercise number two, we have just two options here. Option one, we have a crisscross drop squat, a little higher impact. So we're gonna be here, crisscross drop, crisscross drop. Otherwise, you're going to do it squat with a double pulse. Double pulse, stand it up. Double pulse, stand it up, low impact option. Next, we have a high plank, lateral foot tap side to side. Most people are gonna do this option here, high plank, lateral tap, lateral tap. Otherwise, you can be down on the knee, on the elbows. If we got wrist stuff happening, low tap, low tap. Or again, tuck the toes, low plank hold. Final exercise, we have two options. Option one, hands on the hips, tall chest, butt kicker runs. Otherwise, butt kicker, side to side march. We're gonna start in 15 seconds, so let's get it ready. First one, reverse lunge to curtsy lunge. Yes, Joe, we are ready, leg day. We got three, two, one, here you go, reverse lunge and curtsy lunge. Beautiful. Squeeze your glutes as you're lowering down. So you should feel your quads as well as your glutes on this one. Almost there, we're halfway through. 
Try to keep that knee behind the toe as best you can. Beautiful. We got 10 more seconds and we're into that crisscross drop squat. Couple more reps, three, two, one. This is where the going gets tough. Crisscross drop, crisscross drop. I'm gonna push for you guys, but you guys gonna push for me. This is like my like 20 something class this week, but it's a Friday. We're kicking the weekend off strong. So I get everything we got left in the tank in these last four circuits. 10 seconds to go here, yes. Crisscross drop, crisscross drop. Off with those landings, three, two, one. Plank, lateral foot tap, whoo. Breathe, side to side tap. Take your time here, try to catch that breath. So we got butt kickers after this. We try to mix it up high intensity and then a little recovery with this core exercise in between. 10 seconds to go down here. Hips are low and level. Feeling those obliques. Couple more seconds. Three, two, one. Stand it up. Butt kicker. Run or march. Bring those heels up to your butt. Nice job. Nice job. Crushing it today. Come on. 20 seconds. Keep it moving. We're almost there. Home stretch. Home stretch. Last 10 to go. Almost. Couple more seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. Great work, everybody. I saw everyone pushing, pushing very much. So I think everyone's doing fantastic. <laughs> we have 15 seconds. Coach Joe wanted me to let you know you guys are just amazing. We have the last set for legs. Final circuit is gonna be upper and core. Starting in five, other side, reverse to curtsy. Three, two, one, here you go. Reverse and curtsy down and back. Try to still catch your breath on this one. If you're out of breath, don't worry. That was, that was intentional. We got 15 seconds here. Oh, and I'm already nervous for that crisscross drop squat, but we got it. We got this together, crew. Come on, come on, five seconds, four, three, two, one deep breath, let's go. Crisscross drop, crisscross drop. Otherwise, double pulse, stand it up, all still working. Come on, come on, 15 seconds. Gotta push, gotta push. Almost to the weekend. We got five, four, three, two, high plank, lateral tap. Keep it moving. Almost there, high plank, side to side. Tap it out. We tap it out, but no tapping out, yes. Come on, stay up here. I know, Joe, we're almost there. Yes, I hear you. Almost, we got less than 10. Couple more seconds, five, four, three, two. Last 30 butt kickers, kick it out. If I'm not kicking your butt, you're gonna kick your own butt right now, let's go. 30 seconds, again, soft with those landings. If you need to, march it out. There we go. We got 15. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Almost there. Less than 10. Little push for the finish. Good, almost. We got three, two, time. I could do not. Coach Peps sweating. All right, guys. Two rounds to go. And it's a wrap. So we have upper body and core. First one. We're gonna start with a mountain climber and a push-up combination. So, a couple different options. Option one, I'm down on my knees. I'm gonna opt for this one here. Push-up, lift the knees up, mountain climber, mountain climber. Otherwise, push-up from the knees, or push-up from the feet, sorry, and then mountain climber, mountain climber. Exercise number two. Oh, this one's really tough on the triceps, but you guys are gonna love it. 
Everyone's gonna be down on the knees. You're gonna stay low at the bottom. So think of it, you're gonna stay low in that bottom half like you're pumping up those triceps. So I'm here, I'm gonna start with my chest on the ground. Keep your core tight and you're gonna do little pumps up and down, up and down. You should feel all tries there. A little modification, keep more of your belly on the ground. Still keep the core tight. You're still pumping it up, but by having a little bit more body weight against the floor, you're gonna be pressing up less weight. Next exercise, we got two options here. First one is definitely advanced. So if you don't wanna do this one, definitely feel free to do the alternative. We have a bare plank kick through, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, knees up two inches, kick it through and switch. Kick it through, reach the arm back, keeping that leg close to the floor. Option two, you're just gonna do a bare plank hold with your knees a couple inches off the ground. If we got any toe stuff, again, you're gonna hold that low plank with the toes tucked. Then our final exercise of the day, tough one here. We have a no push up burpee, jumping or stepping. Option one, jumping back, jump it back, jump it up, hop it back. Otherwise, you're going to step it back, stand it up, stand tall. Make sure you're still coming all the way into the high plank. So let's go. We're going to start in 10 seconds with the push up to mountain climber combination. Let's get it down on the ground. Here we go. Three, two, one, push up to climber. Push up, knee to chest, knee to chest, back down. Elbows are down and back 45 degrees. The climber is a little bit slower. It's more for the core. No running climbers, just drive it up. 15 seconds to go here. Yes. Come on, last 10. Drive that knee all the way up. Go work, go work. Last rep here. Oh boy, this one's gonna burn up these arms. Shake out the wrist for a second. Start at the bottom. Low push-ups, pump, pump it up. Pumped up for the weekend. Peps pumping it up. So we're only coming up and down about three inches. Keep that long neck, shoulders pulled back. Joe is just star grilling me. He's like, you look like an idiot. We got 10 seconds here. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Then we're onto that bear plank or bear plank kick through the last one. Shake out the arms for a second. One deep breath, right to it. Kick it through, extend the arm and leg and switch. This one, definitely take your time. Knees are close to the floor and extend that leg away. You look like a ninja, super smooth. We got five seconds till no push up burpee. Three, two, one. Here we go, last 30. Jump it up, high plank, yes. Keep that tall chest. And again, core is tight as you jump back. Amazing job, guys. You got just 15 seconds. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Almost there. Less than 10. Nice work on these. Five, four, three, two, and rest. 30 seconds. I'm gonna get laptop ready for our questions but quick 30 second rest amazing job everyone Woo. all right 15 seconds to rest last of the day everything you've got left in the tank this is tough all right guys here we go push up to climber three two one let's finish strong Push it up, drive it through, drive it through, back down. Nice job here. Still keeping that quality form. I know you're getting tired, but we are so close. Stay focused, stay in it. You got 10 seconds. Come on, come on. Almost there. You've got it, you've got it. Three, two, one. Down at the bottom, stay low push-ups, pump it up. You can leave a little bit of your belly on the ground, but right up, right down, right up, right down. Small, fast reps. All tries, baby. Let's go. 
We got 15 seconds left. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Long neck. Time to go. So we got our last minute of the day. Five, four, three, two. Take a quick rest. Shake out the arms for one second. Deep breath right into that bare plank. Or kicking it through with me. Kicking it through. And then we get to kick it back. There it is, 15 seconds. And we're on to that new push-up burpee. Very good. Nice and smooth. We got five, four, three, two, final three, everything you got. No push-up burpee. Jump or come all the way into that high plank. Nice work, guys. Keep pushing through. 15 seconds to go. This tough one this morning. Let's get one last rep. And time. Take a seat on the ground. We are going to cool it down for about two minutes. Definitely want to make sure we're doing our mobility, our cool downs, our warm ups. So do those in full every workout. First, you're gonna be flat on your back. Lift your knee up to the chest. Grab the outside of the knee with the opposite hand and gently drop that knee to the floor. You might even get a couple cracks through your back. That always feels nice. And look over the opposite shoulder. Don't think about what you got coming up next. Just breathe. I appreciate how good it feels. Some of you guys on your first weeks just getting started. So excited for everybody. Now let's gently twist it out, shift the hips, other side, knee up, grab the outside of the knee, drop it to the floor, press it to the ground, look over the opposite shoulder. Keep breathing, trying to slow that heart rate down. Perfect, we'll do one more for the upper body. Next one, we gotta thread the needle. On the knees here, you're gonna reach one arm underneath and through, pressing the pinky finger into the floor, twisting, you'll feel this through the shoulder, the upper back, the spine. Reach that pinky finger as far away as you can, opening up that upper back. Let's switch it out, other side, reach that arm underneath, press the shoulder into the floor. Couple more deep breaths. Perfect there. Amazing work, guys. I need like one minute to just get my act together here and get your questions answered. Let's go. It's time for Professor Peppa. Turn off full swerving over here. All right, so I'm just going to pull up some of your jot forms. Thank you guys for submitting them. Um, definitely place literally ask me anything. If I don't know the answer, I will find out for you. So let me just pull up my laptop here. So I'm gonna pull up these forms. So one minute. So a lot of great questions. Um, and as always, everyone, if you have anything, just ask. I'm an open book, email me, depending what your membership is like. Either way, you got access to the answers. So let's pull up our jot forms here. Alrighty. So I'm going to start from the bottom up. Perfect. So one thing that's great. So I'm just going to kind of go step by step, no particular order, just going to go from the bottom up. So one person, so we always want to celebrate our wins first. So a lot of times people can be kind of hard on themselves or like, oh, I, you know, I missed one workout. Um, but let's always celebrate what we did well. So this first person, they completed all their workouts and they are on the more premium program. So they're also getting their nutrition and they stuck to their nutrition as well. So they're off to a great start. And then one thing they commented was that doing like the five rounds at the end for the finisher, um, definitely challenging there. So if you guys are having, uh, you know, that end portion, a lot of you are on more of like a hit component for the end. Um, that's meant to be challenging. So if you're feeling out of breath, um, the first portion with the strength, definitely meant to work on our, you know, strength component, building our muscles. But that second piece, 
it's all very um, all encompassing. So we want to get you out of breath. So when you're feeling that extra push, very much so through this workout, like we want to get to that point. But that being said, when you are doing these workouts on your own, make sure you're you're pushing with that intensity, but only to the point where you're keeping quality form. So addressing that note, um, you want to push yourself. But if you feel like oh, like my back's starting to tweak or anything, make sure you slow it down and just get that proper form. In terms of breathing technique, most people do not know how to breathe. So you'll notice throughout the workout, I keep encouraging you guys to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. So a little bit of science on that, when you actually breathe in through your nose, there's a part of your brain, there's like a little stem back there in the nose. When you breathe through the nose, that's actually triggering, triggering your brain, like your um, like caveman brain to like calm down. So if you're in the workout and you're like getting frantic and panicked and you're like, <sighs> don't breathe through the mouth, deep breath in through the nose, blow it out through the mouth. So very good uh, tip there on trying to like work through that hit challenge. So, but it's not called high intensity for nothing. Going into the next submission here. Love this one. So stay, uh, biggest success was staying consistent. Um, dietitian is happy with five pound loss in one month and this person just started working out. Um, then they said they're consistently waking up at 5 a.m. So just crushing it, fitting in the time here. Um, some exercises are hard to get to the 30 seconds mark, but pushing a little harder um, to get through that. So love this. This person's on their first week. So congratulations. So going into that, um, let's see. So the first thing I want to talk about with this one is waking up at 5 a.m. to get the workout in first. So a lot of you people, actually pretty much everyone, like you're so busy, you're just crushing your lives, you are just working your butts off. So if you're getting to the end of your day and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired, I don't want to work out. One thing I would encourage you to try is try to switch your workouts in the morning. So if you can wake up, you know, 30 minutes to an hour earlier, get your workout in first, even if you're not so much of a morning person, nothing's going to get in your way. If you are able to adjust that body clock and wake up earlier, starting your day with the workout is actually going to boost your energy for the rest of the day. So if you're working late, if you're working nights, try to do that workout first thing in the morning. And then the second piece of this is <clears throat> um, getting to like the end of the 30 seconds. Um, Kind of like I mentioned with keeping the quality form on the hit component. If you're, you know, at second 20 or second 25 and you're like, you know, I was doing a glute bridge and you started to feel your back or, or whatnot at, at 20 seconds, drop it down. Like I would much rather you guys um, take a rest and like take a second, don't injure yourself and then take a deep breath, maybe take five seconds off then finish the rest of the set. So perhaps break it into a 20 second uh, exercise, quick rest, finish the 10 seconds or two sets of 15 seconds. So there's a little solution there. If you're like going, we never want to go to failure on most exercises. Um, so definitely keep the quality form and take a break when you need to listen to your body. We will get to the full 30 seconds eventually. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, and I think we have, I think we have just one more here. Yeah, last one for now. So this person, another person down two pounds, went to the doctor as well. She's been on the program for about three weeks now. We're going into our fourth week. Um, and she said, struggled a lot with the motivation to work out and missed two workouts. And then getting stir crazy at home. I think we all are. So another thing with missed workouts. So this comes up a lot. So with our programming, actually, um, several of you had a slight panic about miss missing a workout this week. And I always say, don't worry, like life, life with Nikki, life happens. So if you um, missed a workout, definitely text me and I'll help you come up with a schedule to like fit it in with the rest of your week and like prioritize which ones are important. So for example, um, one person, let's say they had a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday workout. And then of course we have our Friday workout uh, with the group. So let's say you missed Wednesday's workout and you're like, oh, it's Wednesday, I missed my workout. 
I ruined everything. You didn't, you're okay. Just move that workout to Thursday. So do Wednesday's workout on Thursday and do Thursday's workout on Friday. And then you could either consider this one as like a bonus, do it over the weekend. Um, we definitely don't wanna get in the habit of missing many workouts in a row, but if that happens, they're one of the reasons why I give you guys Saturdays and Sundays off is like, if you need to take a, a break during the week, maybe Wednesday was just like freaking crazy and you needed, you just needed a minute, like just do it on the weekend, like at very flexible and shifting things forward. So all about flexibility. And as always, if you have any questions um, at all in terms of, you know, how to adjust your schedule, just shoot me a, a text if you're one of my premium clients or shoot me an email or comment in the app if you're on the more standard program and I'm happy to help you guys come up with a solution. And then one last bit um, on the nutrition component, I had someone start this week and we are doing um, nutrition tracking, kind of doing macros and things like that. And this particular person, when we took a look at her macros, um, and I've made this mistake as well. Uh, she was definitely like under eating, like going for like 1200 calories, which um, as you guys know, I'm all about like long-term gains. We're in this for the long haul. Of course, if you're going to eat 1200 calories, you're going to lose weight, but you're going to hate everything and you're going to be so hungry. And then you're probably going to go over that anyways. And then you're like, oh, I went over. It's like, of course you did because you were so hungry. So I would encourage you eat a little bit more and kind of plan on it throughout the day. Um, that way, when you get to the end of the day, let's say you're eating 1500 calories, um, you're going to hit your calories and you're also going to um, be satiated. So you're not going to have that binge and purge um, type of thing happening. And then one last piece on that, making sure to space your meals throughout the day. So like I said, you guys are all super busy. Um, make sure you're having lunch. Um, and then if you're like super crazy and you're like, I can't even have lunch, like make a protein shake so you're ready and you at least have something to keep you full for longer. So I love, I love when you guys submit things cause it just really helps me help you better. So continue to submit those forms. I'll either post it in the Facebook group if you're on our standard plan. And then of course, if you are a premium client, one-on-one -on -one texting, lots of extra support there. So Thanks so much, you guys. Enjoy the replay and have a fabulous weekend. We will be back to it next week. And I have a lot of programming this weekend. We are on a little recap here, week, week 12 of doing a certain type of program. So we're actually going to mix it up a little bit going into um, the next few weeks. So get excited for a little more. It's always, there's always a lot of variety, but we have more variety coming your way. So amazing work, everyone. Have a great weekend and let me know if you need anything.